Hi Bruce from Safari and we're in front of a really large caravan job here and uh, I thought today we might just step through it a bit more and this is going over to WA to Craig Henderson a shout out to r, &R Robotics over there and uh, let's have a look at what we've got here well this is the uh, Garmin display and this screen is removable we'll go on a suction cup mount inside his vehicle when it comes off then you can still drive the sound system with the screen off inside and Craig's opted for this very nice amplifier and these speakers, the nice thing on these speakers is that they can be um, surface mount. So we've got in this box here, the black plastic surround that go around that space it out. And then there's different grill covers you can have on the top. Um, he's got a 48 volt hot water system. So a reminder, this goes to 70C when you dial it up here. It's eight liters, but 70C is really good for the kitchen area. Oops, it's just come on. And that's our instant hot water. And this last item here is the luxury underfloor heater. Now just have a look at this. Uh, I've, got to, I've got to show you this because this is my design. So this is um, a fiberglass here, 0.6 mil uh, thin. And there's a cathode and an anode in there. And then this is a very secret source way that we put this carbon dielectric down and that runs at about 123 watts, but you can stand on that with stilettos. You can see how thin it is, and you put that underneath. And the heater is being driven by this Smart Battery Protect. You can see it's running. Um, it's 48 volt, and what turns it on and off are the small wireless pucks, and yeah, they are Ruby, and we have the software that when this gets to temperature, it turns this on and off, and it's all done natively in the Victron system that we add to it. So this is for the air ride control that you can see on it. It's a small PLC and it's connected in uh, through the CAN port. Um, then this is a smart, big smart battery protect with the turbo. But a new feature we're doing now is we've simplified the wiring now going into the digital switching. This is all way go along here now. And, um, and these are much smaller than we had before and easier to install. So all the customer does here is doing pair, 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 negative on the bottom, positive up here. And our uh, can wiring here, we have a joiner switch on, it's very slick. Then we've got traditional fuses here in addition to the switching. So these are things like uh, fridges and other items that are coming on here. They're all labeled on these little tags down here. And, um, and then over here is, we're now using the Clipsal MX-9s in, in the main. Uh, for customers, which are a higher end uh, magnetic RCBO. Um, the batteries are going to go at the end. This is the layout. It's a very, very tight space for the board. The batteries are going at the end here in a, in a cube. And the multi RS, we've had to do a little bit of a modification to bring things out on the top. And the solar is going to come in here, not normally done that way. So over here, we have the inclimiter for the pitch and roll, the TPMS that's here. The eight button switch, you can see we've turned on one of the buttons there that are flashing and you would have seen we custom engrave these. It looks absolutely fantastic. Um, then this is the light sensor on the roof. So as the as night comes on, the lights in Craig's caravan will automatically and very slowly come on and he can adjust that on the screen. And then to see the tire pressure monitoring, and the inclimiter all appears on this display. At the moment, we're not reading anything here. That's why we're reading zero, but it's all set, ready to go. And then on this page here, we're doing the digital switching. And then we read all the Victron information, uh, the inverter and everything else that, uh, that we read here. You can see AC out down here, DC out at the top. And we read all that by touching the inverter here and up comes all the Victron information. And this board here, which is our own board, Safari board reads, we call this our solo board named after Han Solo. And this board here reads everything out of the turbo and brings it up in can on the screen. And you can change the AC current input limit. We have some set presets there, whether it's active and, um, and you can see all the data on the screen. So you don't need the Victron screen at all. And that's how you uh, turn it on and off and then just a reminder on the customization of the screen when we go into the uh, light screen here up on the top here and we press this again a reminder that this allows you to select the mode and which channels you want to turn on totally customizable 
So you can have a mode on this button here or on any switch input at all. When it's activated, you specify what channels are gonna come on and off uh, with that mode by just doing what I just did then, just touching it and it ticks it. So our system gives the customer uh, the ability to change that. And I, dare, I don't think there's anyone else in the market that can come close to that. So overall, it's a compact, very powerful system. That's the length and the size of it that you can see there. And I've got to say, how good's that?